are we going? Are we going in the car? <laughs> everybody welcome back to my channel as you can probably tell today's video is going to be a little bit different we're not going to be doing a tutorial this week um, this week uh, we are in the mountains for my birthday so today is Tuesday and tomorrow is my birthday we decided to take a little bit of a road trip and also just to kind of get a break and a change of scenery after being in the same place for so long during lockdown. So um, I am currently sitting at the side of Lago Blue. I don't understand. We are in the mountains for my birthday, so to Okay, Siri. <laughs> um, I'm currently sitting at the side of Lago Blue, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and yeah, we're gonna bring you guys along with us on our adventures. We also are going to be shooting some photographs for Shop Happy because we're going to be able to go up to the glacier probably on Wednesday or Thursday. So there's gonna be some snow. We're also wearing our limited edition Happy hoodies that we got done up last week when we were also ordering our t-shirts. Um, so we're going to be taking some photographs of them to share them with you guys um, to see if you guys would be interested in us adding them to the shop or if we'll just do a limited line of them. So yeah, um, I'm excited to take you guys along with us and I'm excited to explore. I've never been up the mountains here um, and Joe is really excited to show me all of the places that he used to visit when he worked and lived here. Here is Joe with the sandwiches. <laughs> it's Diego Explorer. <laughs> oh, even Mimi knows there's food coming. <laughs> it's starting to rain. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> yeah. It's starting to rain. Who just took a swim in the lake? Was it Mimi? <laughs> Did Mimi go for a swim? Hmm? You decide to be a diver now. Rescue dog. <laughs> Look at the grass all stuck to her. <laughs> what are you doing? Hot. <laughs> okay, you sit down there and relax. Mountain spa. So it's a little bit later in the day now. We have arrived at our little Airbnb here in um, Trevinia. Mimi is very happy. <laughs> We've just thrown the duvet cover we brought from home over the couch because she doesn't listen to boundaries or rules. And so <laughs> the first place that she wanted to sit on when she came in was the couch. Not her bed over in the corner, but the couch. Um, so yeah, we've had uh, a few walks today. We walked around Lago Blue. We visited... Um, the town in Trevinia, the main town, um, because Joe used to work here in ski shops in the winter seasons um, for three years and so he walked us around and showed us the different places that he used to live and used to work. Um, <laughs> look at this. Are you happy? She's had quite the adventures today. She had two swims in the lake. 
She decided to get into <laughs> Lago Blue when we were trying to take some photographs and then she got into a water fountain in the town square in Jovenia, so yeah. You've had quite the day, haven't you? It's now half past two. Um, what are you crying about? He's coming back. He's just parking the car. We're probably going to freshen up a little bit here. I think we're meeting some of Joe's old snowboarding friends for aperitivo this evening. Um, there are like hikes and walks literally like around the corner from where we're staying. So we might do a little walk, I don't know. Um, but I thought I would show you where we're staying before we unpack our many, many bags, <laughs> which now that I'm looking at it thrown on the floor is probably a bit excessive for two nights and three days. It's it's literally a studio apartment. It's one room and a bathroom, but it is so cute. It's like something from a little, I don't know, fairy tale. It looks like Snow White's house. It's so cute. So I'm just going to flip you guys around to show you. Okay. As you can see, it's like literally just one room. And it's got like this beautiful wood pan ceiling, a little kitchen space here. This is actually a little cupboard. I just love that it's done like a little hatch window. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. Oh, look, cups and glasses. Um, and then this is the little front door with these cute little gingham curtains on them. It's just very sweet. And the little courtyard out here with, I just love the houses around here. They're just like... Again, like something out of a Disney movie with the stone and the, the wooden uh, coverings for the windows. There's Mimi sleeping on the couch. Um, and then in here is just a little bathroom, which is very cute. No, there we go. Little bathroom. Again, I'm like super small. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's small, but I think it's perfect for um, what we'll be using it for. We're probably not going to be in here much. Um, we've brought uh, dinner from home for this evening. And then tomorrow is my birthday, so we're going to be eating out. And also we probably plan to just like be out of the house and do some walks and visit some of the lakes and the different trails tomorrow. So we're not going to be here probably just to sleep for most of the trip anyway. I'm ready. <laughs> How long? Uh, 8.46 uh, If everything goes okay mm -hmm. We'll be... On the Matterhorn? No <laughs> If everything goes right in a couple of hours we are, we'll actually be on Flamazon And from there, once we take a break we can go up to the lake It's like a place where the, the skiest and the the name of the thing that was The on. cable car. The cable car. The place where the actual cable car arrives is the middle station. Okay, so we can get coffee there? Yes, there is a bar. I think it is. So you think we'll be there at what time? I think in a couple of hours. <laughs> Expert hikers. We're not train trekkers. <laughs> How steep is it? Uh, we'll see. For 10 years I'm not coming here. <laughs> and also you would go up on the ski lift and come down on a snowboard. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> that's what you're worried about. And I assume that's a glacier. Uh, that's what remains of what was once a bigger glacier. Obviously now with the raising of the temperature and pollution. So we got to look after our planet. planet is uh, slowly fading away. Also, that one up there used to be a big glacier. Well, that doesn't even look like a glacier anymore. But it just looks like the, snow. The, the black spot in the middle, that's ice. Yeah, I it see that. It used to be a glacier. Because I can see like the color difference in that. You can yeah. see the, the rocks it's picked up. But that just looks like snow by that one patch of ice. That used to be a big glacier. More people need to visit places like this to see what we're doing to our planet. beautiful the waterfalls are here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up but the color of the water is amazing. <laughs> da -da 
I should have just wore shoes with wheels and let Mimi pull us. Come on, Mimi. We're nearly, we're nearly to the point that's, well, probably nowhere near where we wanted to go. Oh, well, no. <laughs> oh, close. We're dead. We've walked five meters. Perfect for lunch. <laughs> Mimi's eating the daisies. <sighs> Look at <coughs> that view though. <coughs> Need to go back down? We go. Mimi. Yeah, ma. Go. Go. <laughs> You're too tired to run now. <laughs> record you a little bit. <laughs> it's already recording. And you're not ready for recording the back of your ass all morning. <laughs> it's gonna be great viewing footage. How do you zoom? Uh, the little W and You wanna tell the new plan as to why we're training around going back already? Uh <laughs> no I don't know Ah. We go back down to get uh, the cable car to go up. And considering that Laura needs to get her boots as well, yeah. we may both go and change our shoes and come back up. Okay. So, so we will see about lunch, I guess. We're ah, also, it's open even in the afternoon, so... I guess it depends on what time we get down there. It depends on the weather as well, so we're gonna see now. We're but using it's okay to, you know, you plan something, it doesn't exactly work out as you thought. It's okay to just uh, go with the flow and change your plan on the go. And acknowledge that maybe we were not as physically fit as we thought we were. That's it. We all tell everyone it was because of the weather, but really it was, and your shoe. No, it's, it's, actually, it's actually my shoe as well. We're back on level ground. <laughs> I can feel my legs. What do you think, Mimi? Hmm? Are you happy? We're gonna have some nice food now? Not a bad view for birthday lunch. You look pretty happy with yourself. I am. <laughs> Just because of your food? I am look pretty happy. <laughs> oh, I think this is ours. Mimi, mm. come here. Qua, qua, qua. Ole, voila. Gracias. Wow, your potatoes look good. <laughs> Bon appetito. Enjoy. Did you have a good lunch? I had too much of a good lunch. <laughs> what was your favorite part? My favorite part was definitely the starter. What was your favorite part? The starter as well. The tart was amazing. Yep. And now, to the snow!
<laughs> Is it good? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's have a cafe on the top of the mountain. We came all the way up here to not have a cafe. Woo! <laughs> okay, I, I actually nearly slipped. <laughs> We're up at the furthest point of the glacier that you can go. And we just shot some photographs of the happy hoodies for the shop happy Instagram and for promoting them and showing them to you guys. Mimi is having a blast in the snow. <laughs> she was digging holes and running around and it's just amazing up here. The air is so fresh and yeah, it's incredible to be in snow in July. <laughs> I don't have the appropriate shoes. <laughs> Let's watch Giovanni die with some coffee in his hands. <laughs> it's a bit more even up there. Mimi's concerned for your well-being and that of the coffee. How gutty would you have been if you <laughs> to buy the coffees and then spill them? Cheers! <laughs> to the highest coffee in Europe probably. In right Europe. <laughs> I want a rock love. Is there's it good? A, there's a full no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is it it's, it's mountain coffee. Mm. Definitely give us a kick. It's strong. Oh, that is strong. And it's got an aftertaste. <laughs> the one from the mocha pot this morning was definitely better. Now we're going to walk back down. Um, this is where we originally wanted to walk up to this morning, but we only got about halfway. So we've got the cable car back from the glacier, and this is the last stop. And we decided that we will walk the last bit. The guy told us it should be 30 to 40 minutes to go down. I think based on how long it took us to come halfway up and down this morning, it's going to be a bit longer. And it's starting to look a little bit stormy. The weather forecast is for storms this evening. Good thing we packed our rain jackets. There she is, the Cervino, or the Matterhorn. It's how beautiful. <laughs> Joe wanted to pull in, to take it all in, with nobody around. <laughs> Are you happy you got to see the Cervino before you went home? No? Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty impressive. Are you sad we're going home? Hmm? Are you sad we're going home? At least we got to see it before we left properly.
it's a little bit later in the day. Um, we are back home. Suitcases are unpacked. Uh, I've changed the bed covers because we took our own duvet with us. So I have fresh covers. Duvet has been washed. More laundry has been washed. Um, when I came home, I just tried to do as much as I could because I feel so tired now. And I knew if I sat down for just a second that I wouldn't get back up again. So I've been trying to like hold out until half eight, half nine. Joe is actually gone to the bar now to watch a Juventus match. And so I have run myself a little bubble bath. Mm -hmm and with some chocolate and some coffee. I have had an amazing few days and I'm really glad that I got to bring you guys along um, and that I get to keep this trip forever in the form of a vlog. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say goodbye now. If you liked this vlog, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope that we will be able to do a lot more vlogs in the future as we go forward and I will be back again next Sunday at 6 with a new draw with me tutorial. So until then, bye bye!